I've been looking forward to this all morning. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm a little bit hungry. Uh, and uh, this is my favourite, favourite kind of item. Mm. Uh, with the weather like this, there's nothing better. We've got the one man for the job, DJ Barbecue, is here with his Cajun chicken sandwich. So um, nice I love your you. book. <laughs> Thank you. Love your book. Um, and this is really, it's just the thrill of cooking outside and overheat. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's good to get outside. It's good to, and also barbecues all year long. You know, a lot of people, you, you know, you always call me, it seems, when it's the hottest day of the year. Yeah. But I want to stand around hot coals on the colder days of the year. Yeah. I just think we should always be cooking a barbecue. Let's get outdoors. Let's get family and friends and have a good time. I'll and, fire mine up if it's if I'm going to cook something that would normally stink out the kitchen. So if you sort of fish. Take it yeah, outside. I always do it outside. It's a very so good wise. idea. The book this time is really about celebrating sharing, isn't it? Like really cooking meals for lots of people. That's it. You know, I think a lot of people, because of lockdown, they were in their backyards, exploring the backyards, maybe investing in their backyards, getting grills, getting really into barbecue. And I think England's really embraced live fire cooking. So we wrote a book for those good people. And my favorite recipe in the book, you guys chose a uh, Cajun style chicken. I, I worked in restaurants my whole life in America and I love this spice mix. You're talking salt, pepper, onion granules, garlic granules. You got some oregano and thyme. And of course, you've got a bit of cayenne and paprika and that all goes into this lovely mix. Now, you can dial it up, you can dial it down, you can go spicy. So the cayenne's really, you know, for Preference. your, your discretion. You so would you make up a little kind of mix like that, make it up, and then you've got it and you can chuck it on everything? You're always thinking batch cooking. So yeah. always make like a big tub of it and you use it on everything. My kids, we have Cajun rubs everywhere because it's just got, it's got umami, it's got savory, it's got it all. And it's gonna go on our chicken breast. You can use a uh, chicken thigh, just make sure they're deboned. A uh, butterfly, so it's a quick cook. Mm -hmm. You're talking on maybe like three, four, five minutes aside, but it's always important to cook barbecue to temp, not to time, because everybody's cooker's different, everybody's protein is different. And listen, the beauty of this recipe, you can go oh. vegan and do butternut squash ribs. It's one of the recipes I've been taking to Pub in the Park. I'm at Taste Today doing demos. So that, on a butternut squash, just score it, you know, clean all the seeds out and put that on there. So you can go That's vegan right, with this yeah. rub. Yeah. So we're gonna bash out our chicken, bad chicken, bad chicken, you are good chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and then, come on, let's get them off. Come on, chicken, be good. And then, just take our rub and make it rain Cajun. Mm. Bring the Cajun rain of awesomeness. So no oil. No oil. We're gonna put a little, so you can actually do this straight on the grills or you can rock it in a pan so you get more of that kind of crust. It's really preference. So, and again, another easy recipe to go with yours. Um, I always like to use like planches or frying pans because you get a different kind of crust, especially if I'm doing like smash burgers when you want a really thin piece of meat. Yep. We're talking about getting a really intense heat, lots of flavor. And there you go. So give my hands a little bit of a wash. And the chicken goes straight on the grill. We'll put one here. Yeah. And we'll put this guy over here on the frying pan with our little tomato slabs. We'll get rid of this. So you're going to now use that thermometer. What temperature are you looking for it to be then when you're cooking chicken? Like so that? I cooked this to about 70 degrees. You know, I think you look at it safe, 72, 74 degrees Celsius. Um, and I pull it off a little bit before it's done because whilst it's resting, it's still going up in temperature. I don't want my chicken to dry out. Same with what? turkey or like a whole chicken. I'll, yeah. I'll take a whole chicken off about five degrees before it's done. A turkey, maybe seven to 10 degrees before it's done. That's and it's gonna go up. That's dry at Yeah. Christmas. Also, maybe turn that turkey so over what, and cook it breast side down. What really? you've also done, which is really quite important, you've, you've, got, you've got your coals over to one side so that you can actually rest over here. That's it's it. it's cooler. Well, you know, when you're indoors, you have dials. You know, you can, you've got different areas of temperature, but you yeah. don't really have that when you're outdoors unless you go indirect. So this is called the half and half technique. It's how I do most of my cooks. Charcoal on one side, no charcoal on the other. So if you're doing like a bigger cut of meat or doing the hassle back potatoes, I put them on the indirect side and then do the, the, the hot food over here. And this is how you do the hassle back. I've tried this like, and I messed it up. So you said you've got a good way of doing I, it. I'm gonna give you uh, three ways. That's yeah. the first. You get a wooden spoon and that way, the, 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 the knife kind of stops before you go all the way through. Because believe me, I've messed oh, up I see. many a time. Yeah. And then you can get your little paper thin, you know, little slices, just like that. Or you can do this, you can cut uh, that down, put it flat. Uh huh. And then you can get like two spoons the same, like little, little skewers, and they'll stop it. So there's so you're always just a little... keeping the bottom intact. 
correct. Right. Otherwise good. All That's good to up. know. And then you just do, you're basically using this as an outdoor oven. So you put them on the indirect side, the you do them about an hour before you get everything else <laughs> right. going. Right. Keep going. Turn your outdoor grill into an outdoor oven. And there's our, there's our crispy house of bacteria, a little bit of salt and olive oil. And then we're going to do our slaw. So what we have, we've got apples, we've got so red good. cabbage, carrot, white cabbage, and we're going to add some fresh coriander, make it rain coriander, which is like my favorite rain after salt, pepper, and parmesan. Yeah. And Cajun, that's a really good rain. We've got we've got a, an issue with your mic, so I'm going to stand next to you so you can use my... Oh, am I talking into your microphone Just talk now? To me. There we go. I'll talk to you. Okay, can you hand me a there spoon, you sir? Yes. Okay. You can be a sous chef now. So that's a spoon. There we go. Thank you. I'll try to project into your microphone. You talk a bit softly and I'll talk a bit loudly. I'm not going to say anything. There we go. Uh, if you don't want to go mayo, you can just maybe use some apple cider vinegar uh, to give it a bit of a tangy, you know, crunchy awesomeness. I like mayo. I put mayo like in everything. It's one of my favorite ingredients. It's only a little bit for a massive salad as it's well. Just a it? little bit. You know, you can just go as wet as you want and that's your slaw. And then we've got, can you, I'm just going to come over here. Notice. Come with me. Um, I also, we've also guys, got you guys some red wine. Mobile boom. This is the wine that we had earlier on with Helen McGinn. Oh, it? no! Here you go, I'll pass would it you, to you. Would don't you mind? Panic. Don't panic, don't panic. There we so go. So this was Gordon Ramsay's one, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. So there's our yogurt. Now I'm just going to build you a burger. So boom, there's our bun. Let's take up off the chicken breast. You guys got some we made earlier. I'm going to try one of these hassles. They're almost like, when you break into them, they're almost like chips. Oh, yeah. Like you break into it in each little bit that you get. Keep going, mm -hmm. Phil. Get in there. Mm -hmm. Keep going, buddy. Oh, man. They are so good. So there's our yogurt, cucumber. And then we're going to throw on the chicken. And then if you can grab that. Ooh, we're going to go that. Those over there, those are already oh, done. There they are. Here's one we did earlier. Sure. Boom. That goes on top. And then can you please you want your hand, slaw? Me, yeah, hand me the slaw, sir? You're a good man. Not many of us left. Let's do that. Look at that, that goes on top. <laughs> Boom. Make it rain slaw. And there you, oops, I went, I can up, I went upside down. The Cajun chicken <laughs> it's burger. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. It's delicious. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Well done. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download our free This Morning app.